as I've mentioned many times before, right? We're not so focused on what these are actually equal to, so much as, well, how on earth do you get them? What's the process? What's the what's the reason behind 2.72 as opposed to 2.718? Okay, so someone talk me through what were you thinking as you went to write down number one. Someone want to hand up and tell me how they went about. What did you look at? What were you paying attention to? The first significant figure. Okay, so you're looking at which figures are significant, in other words, the biggest in this context. So you went for the third one, one, two, three, which is that guy. Why are we looking at that number? Because it's the one that may possibly change, right? It's the other one that will go up or stay. Um, the rest of the numbers, two and seven, clearly go stay put. So we've come up with 2.72. Why is that? Okay, because it's the number, it's the number directly after it, which means, okay, 2.72 will be closer than 2.71. Happy? Okay. How about this one? Uh, I think most people are okay with this. How do you get this number? Where do you get it from? Yeah, Emma, that's enough. That. Yep. It's like they're not significant. Yep. Sure. Yeah, that's right. Yep. And then because it's got to be between 1 and 10, you like. Keep yeah. yeah, very good. Uh, another way of thinking about it, like this is exactly right. When you keep counting one, two, three, four, five, even though these aren't zeros, right? Once you're you know changing your number here, you're multiplying by that one to make it that much bigger. Okay? So in some ways, because you always want the number between one and ten, you just kind of are looking at this first digit and everything else you can kind of treat them as zeros when you're multiplying by that. Okay? And there are five. Perfect. Conversion, um, kilometers to centimeters, what are we multiplying by in this case? Or maybe I should ask a question before that. Why are we multiplying and not dividing? Why are we multiplying and not dividing? Okay, so we're going to the smaller units, and these units are tiny, so to be equivalent, you've got to have lots of them. That makes sense? So that's why this number is so large, okay? Um, what was the number we were multiplying by? Uh, a thousand and then a hundred. Okay, so you multiply by a thousand to turn that into meters, you got to go again to 10 to centimeters. So there's two steps you got to go. Happy times? Um, this one, multiplication or division? Um, for the division. Oh, yeah? Sorry, you want to come back to three? Yeah, could you not just do times 1,000 then times 100? Just put the two zeros into the 1,000 and just... You mean as in, like, how do I... You know, can I just put those together? Yeah, is that what you mean? Uh, yeah, short answer is yes, you can. Because... Times a thousand times a hundred is times a hundred thousand, so that's yeah. fine. However, I do like kind of doing it like this because this shows to me, oh look, there are actually two steps that I climb down the ladder, so I have my two steps there. And of course the calculator will take care of the rest for us. Okay? So I'm happy with that, but I, I still like this. Um, when we're here, we are getting to really big units. Heck, there's a big, right? So what did we divide by in this case? Down. No. 10, it's 10,000, right? Because a hectare is a square that's 100 meters by 100 meters. And that gives you the 10,000, which is what you divided by, right? Uh, and then lastly, I think we're, I mean, liters and mills are very, very common units, so I'm happy with that. 